We're going to have at least two doctors in the autopsy seven days a week, 365 days a year. For whatever reason, we do see some unique cases here in, in, in Las Vegas. Okay, our first case, 7449. It's a male, one year old, parent homicide. Just when you think you've seen about everything, there's something new that comes up or, you know, a new twist to a case. The way it unfolded was I'm on my way to a birthday party with my sister in law last night. And I get a call and they said, you know, we've got a double, you know, I respond to the double, so it's a homicide, suicide. There's a man and wife that are married. According to the neighbors, she goes missing a couple years ago. When I say goes missing, the neighbors are told that she's gone back to her country of origin. It appears that she's from Vietnam. What he does, it appears at this point, is that he's taken her life, placed her in a freezer in the garage, and then he's gone on with his life for another two, two and a half years. And then he was found in the master bedroom closet. We have to do an autopsy on her, they're doing an examination on him. One of the issues that we're dealing with right now is, as terrible as it sounds, is that she's frozen solid. People take the shape of the environment that they're placed in, and uh, it was a standard chest type freezer, and so she was uh, in what appeared to be somewhat of a fetal position. And so we don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or the next day or the next day before it's at a point where we can do a full examination. The goal is to have a body arrive, and within 24 to 30 hours, we want that body to the mortuary so the family can proceed with the process that they have. Really, the way we do this is that we do what we call pre-stage the case. So the doctor goes in and looks at the case, authorizing the, the case to be unwrapped, so to speak. And we think of it just like layers of an onion. You're peeling layers down and you're doing each step. And the goal of that is to, to have everything ready to go so that when you go into the actual autopsy, everything else is done forensically that can be done prior to the case going in for the doctor and the technician to do the actual work. As you can see, what's going on here is you've got two med students that are observing what the doctor's doing. You got a police officer that's there watching because it's his case, he's gonna have to deal with it. You have a technician that's doing the, the hands-on work and while that's going on, the doctor is actually dictating the information of everything that's going on. Does this look like what you think it is? This looks like a suicide. We're not getting any surprises here. We're, no seeing, surprise. we're seeing what we think we're supposed to see, right? Everything in this is pretty much come together. Number four, birdshot. Oh, it was birdshot, huh? Oh, okay. I'm surprised. So you're going to solve this one. Thanks, guys. Oh, they'll solve that one. Oh, there are people that ask all the time, how do you do it? And, and I'm going to tell you, it's, it's fascinating work. You have to remember it's people's lives, but you also have to remember that it's a job that needs to be done. So you try to keep all those things in balance, and I think that's, that's a challenge for all of us. My job this morning was to process all these bodies with uh, CSI. Uh, we average anywhere from seven to nine a day. There's days it's a little slower. There's days I've come in and I think the most I've ever seen is 21, which is a lot. Each one of us back here will tell you something unique. Of course, we had the lady uh, that put her mother in a garbage can for three years in the storage locker. Myself, I had an eight-year-old that was chopped up by a motorboat. You have to be pretty inhuman not to be affected by that. I've lifted up sheets before, and I, and I know it's a female, a white female underneath the sheet, but when I lift it up, I see my son. Here's the problem we have when people show us photos. They'll go, I'm looking for my daughter. It's a picture of my daughter. There she is 12 years later, 30 days before she died. Well, that's why we don't depend on photos. This isn't something you can learn in school. Caucasian female, 38. She's a prescription overdose. It's a mystery, but guess what? Not one that we can't solve. That probably tells the story. My job doesn't necessarily depress me. It encourages me to go out and get some of my life while I can. Unidentified persons, we have a couple of issues we're dealing with that, correct? I think it was Maya Angelou once said, 
You'll never be happy with what you get until you're happy with what you got. The reality of this every day, it brings home how precious life is and how much you should embrace it and enjoy it. Because this is it. It's in the dress rehearsal. This is the real thing.